Oh, by the way, Mia, did I tell you about that great band I saw the other night? Oh, you mean the one with Dave Elitch? Yeah, uh, the guy I've been taking drum lessons from, you know, one of the best drummers in the world right now. Shout out to Dave Elitch. That's right. He plays drums in this band called The Night Game, and they have a new single out. If you want to check it out, it's on iTunes. Uh, it's called The um, the Outfield. And uh, I saw them play like a quick half-hour set the other night right uh over at Capitol Records, right across the street from that. Remember when I walked over and then had my, my issue? <laughs> Have you talked about your morning? issue? No. Your issue? <laughs> I've been doing cardio like a madman. <laughs> Maybe some, some readers can tweet you some advice about this. I had been doing cardio like a <laughs> madman with like Jordan shorts on, and I don't know what happened. My balls, my ball, one of them was just, <laughs> I just did too much walking in one day, and I had a little chafing issue on one side of the old bag there. <laughs> And uh, it did not infect my enjoyment of the band because the, I, I walked like it's like a two mile walk over there or something. Right. What are you doing? You're looking at me. You're looking at her two miles over and then two <laughs> miles back. And that after I'd already done an hour of cardio. So the next day uh, I was walking like I rode a horse for like <laughs> six weeks straight. But anyways, I went over and I saw the show and they have a singer, uh, Martin Johnson, amazing singer. And then two killer guitarists. I hope they say these names right. Uh, Kieran J. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Kalilin, Max Bernstein. And then they had a guy sitting in on bass, uh, Andrew Perusi. And, uh, dude, they sounded fucking amazing. It's really like poppy type stuff, but the level of musicianship, how great they all sounded live. Um, definitely check it out. Once again, it's called, uh, the name of the band is The Night Game, and the single is The Outfield, and that is out right now. So... Can we talk about your chafed balls? <laughs> huh? Oh, it's done. It was just, it was one and done. It was one day of uncomfortableness. Oh, you're okay now. Oh, yeah, I'm good. I'm okay, because go. I was suggesting that Bill get Gold Bombs medicated powder because I just felt like that was just something that you just dust <laughs> on your balls a little bit. We kept saying, you know, like when those great chefs put the powdered sugar on yeah, top. Yeah, the confection sugar yeah, on it. You do that little. <laughs> No, Just I think that's your balls a little bit to keep. But them. that's not for chafing. It's not. It's no, not. that's. But I thought they that's for people who have itchy balls. If oh. you have itchy balls and they're sweaty, and so therefore it's so like the, kind of like a it's a culture. Like you're gonna make bread, but it's your balls. Ew. <laughs> Red balls. <laughs> That's disgusting. No, this is just uh, yeah, chafing. You know what I mean, Gary Chafee. Um, all right, <laughs> she's chiming in here. The third mic. Um, anyways, she thinks it's funny. Anyways, yeah. So that is uh, that is all. Is there anything you want to give me shit about? My balls are better than it was. Only one of them. Good. Well, I mean, I'm glad you used yeah. what I gave you for them. And I'm also like a uh, <laughs> a. Uh, I'm like a plane, you know what I mean? Like one of those big jet planes, they can lose one engine and still fly. So I'm, I'm fine. Gotcha. Just letting you know. Why was it only the one ball? I don't know why. Is one ball bigger than the other? Is that why it's like <laughs> rubbing a little bit more? No. Is it like how, you know, it, women, you know like, what it you have, your boobs are different sizes? Like, no, it probably has more balls? to be with my awful posture, my back being fucked up and one shoulder in front of the other one. I'm just a mess. Mm. I'm all from all these years of hanging onto the anger and not stretching. I'm just a twisted up mess. But I tell you, I have been stretching. Mm -hmm. I've been going to a chiropractor and a, a uh, a masseuse regularly for almost like a year and had I not done that God knows what would have happened I probably would have lost a nut <laughs>